I, I want to talk a little bit about charities and how we give to them and how they use our income. Um, the thing about charities is they operate day after day, year after year, um, lifetime after lifetime in some of the poorest parts of the world, some of the richest parts of the world, helping people who um, don't have enough to help themselves at that time. Now, that can be malaria nets for a couple of quid, it can be deworming pills for a few pence or dehydration packs for kids in a, a drought area, or it can be tens of thousands of pounds for development, or even millions of pounds for development of new drugs for cancer and motor neuron disease that affect the first world. The issue is we as people in the first world need to think very hard about how we give to charities because one-off donations of very small amounts of money, although in the grand scheme they can add up to quite a lot, aren't enough to support what needs done in the world and to change um, big problems in the world. So we should be giving large amounts of our income regularly every month. Now the ice bucket challenge, the theory is you give £10 and um, you pour a very cold bucket of water over your head. You give your £10, your $10, you get a lot of credit for it, you get lots of likes, it's all good, people think you're a great person because you gave a, a tiny amount of money. But really, we should be giving that much money two, three, four times per day if you're in full-time employment. If you have spare change in your pocket, you're in the richest 5-10% of the world's population simply by not knowing exactly how much cash you have at any one time. So, yeah, you can pour some of this over your head, and it's a lovely evening, so sure. Um, but it's, it doesn't make any difference. One charity may see a swell in their income that's worth a few years for you know a month or two. Other charities lose, and then it dies down. We should be giving large amounts, as I said, all the time, right through our, our earning lives, and I really feel quite strongly about that, so it is a lovely evening, it's quite warm out here. Relax, enjoy your life, you know, if you're wealthy, enjoy your money, but be generous, and don't settle for gimmicks, don't settle for second best, but make sure that what you're doing to the world, and in the world, is representative and fair. And as I said, enjoy yourself.